I'll hand over to Karen today um, to talk about her in B-Vision reporter cell lines. So thank you, Karen. All righty. So thank you, Sarah. So hi, everyone, and thanks for joining today. I'm Karen McRae-Johns, Product Manager for the Nate Immunity Portfolio at Joma Life Research. And Joma is Australia's leading distributor of kits and reagents for biomedical research. To help you learn about COVID-19 products, we are doing a 10-minute webinar series detailing products which may be of interest to you. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend checking out our other webinars on our YouTube channel. Like Sarah mentioned, our team of product managers are here today to answer any of your questions. Invivagen is one of Joma's five-star suppliers. This means that their products undergo strict quality control procedures. Their products are also functionally validated and their site has been inspected by Joma. And I personally have visited Invivigen's facilities. Invivigen also offer a performance satisfaction guarantee and they maintain an adequate amount of stock for rapid deliveries. Knowledge of how the immune system responds to SARS-CoV-2 is currently very limited. However, based on data from previous viruses, predictions can be made. Upon entry, the virus will likely be recognized by innate immune receptors, such as the RNA receptors like TLR7 and 8, as well as RIG-I. In addition, it also might be recognized by the inflammasome. Activation of these signaling pathways will result in the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and interferons. The antiviral action of type 1 interferons is vital to reduce the viral propagation and the antiviral action is further amplified by the expression of ISGs. Furthermore, cytokines released by infected cells modulate the adaptive immune response to try eliminate the virus. However, an unbalanced immune response can lead to a cytokine storm and hyperinflammation, leading to the severe clinical symptoms of COVID-19. Next, I'm going to explain how Invivagen reporter cells work. Invivagen offer a large panel of cell lines engineered to provide simple, rapid and reliable monitoring of specific signaling pathways. If a sample that is added to these reporter cells contains a particular ligand of interest, the ligand will bind its specific receptor. This results in a specific signaling pathway to become activated and a pathway-specific reporter to be produced. Depending on the cell line, this reporter protein can either be secreted alkaline phosphatase, also known as SEEP, or luciolociferase. And these reporter proteins are then secreted into the supername. Notably, the amount of reporter protein corresponds to the amount of bioactive ligand in the sample. If the reporter protein, for example, is C, the amount of C in the supername can easily be detected using QuantiBlue solution. Visually, you'll be able to see a color change of this solution from a pink color to a bluey purple, depending on the amount of seep present. Additionally, the amount of seep can be quantified using a spectrophotometer. Now that I've gone over the basic principle of how these reporter cells work, I'm going to discuss how they can be used in COVID-19 research. Like you may already know, studies have shown recently that during COVID cytokine storm, some of the main pro-inflammatory cytokines are upregulated. Notably, Invivagen have dedicated reporter cells for each of these cytokines. These reporter cells can be used to detect biologically active cytokines in samples, and these reporter cells are also highly sensitive. For example, if you're interested in measuring levels of IL-2, IL-10, sorry, you can use Hec blue IL-10 reporter cells. 
These cells have a fully functioning IL-10 signaling pathway, which can be used to detect bioactive human IL-10 by monitoring STAT3 activation. In this particular cell line, phosphorylation of STAT3 results in STAT3-dependent production of C, which then will result in this secreted protein into the supernatant. Here is some of Invivagen's validation data for this particular cell line. Figure A shows a dose response curve of these reporter cells in response to recombinant human IL-10. Figure B shows a dose dependent inhibition using a neutralizing antibody for human IL-10 receptor. And figure C shows that these reporter cells are highly specific for human IL-10 and to a lesser extent, mouse IL-10, but not other cytokines. In Fevagen have a wide variety of cytokine reporters available, which may be of interest to you. Additionally, they also have reporter cells in different cell types. If you are interested in investigating other signaling pathways, for example, involving toll-like receptors or the inflammasome, Invivagen also have a comprehensive portfolio of reporter cell lines available. Lastly, we have put together a t-shirt to congratulate you on your important and vital research efforts during this troubling time. You and your colleagues can have this t-shirt for free without the need of purchasing any products. Just email us your details and we'll send you one. Thank you for listening to this short webinar. For more information on Invivagen products, please have a look at our website. If you are interested in pricing for anything, feel free to contact us via email or calling our office. Like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't already done so, I highly recommend checking out our previous webinars. Does anyone have any questions? Let's have a look if we have any questions. Sarah, I think you're muted. Yeah, so I can't see any questions just yet, Karen. Um, so what I will do is launch the poll right now, if you wouldn't mind taking a few moments to complete that poll. Thanks for attending. We hope you found the seminar useful um, to your research. And if you think of a question later on, please feel free to email uh, Karen at info at jlresearch.com.au. Thank you for completing the poll, guys. Okay, thank you Karen for your time and thank you everyone for joining us. Um, this video will be available on our YouTube channel in the coming days uh, and please keep an eye on your email to, for the invitation to our next webinar where there will be links to the YouTube of previous webinars as well. So thanks for joining us. Thank you Karen. Um. Well done, Karen. See you in Gaggle. See you shortly.